awful long time in financial journalism before I realised that actually an awful lot of financial journalists, along with about 98% of the rest of the population, have absolutely no idea what a hedge fund does. In fact, it took a very long time before I could explain it fairly simply, and it is simple. A hedge fund is basically an investment vehicle that is designed not to lose money, even in a bad year, because of the way it uses derivatives. And we have some real experts on hedge funds at CAS Business School. One of them is Dr. Nick Motson. He just won the 2009 Science Capital Award for his research on hedge funds. I asked him to tell me what he'd found out. Um, it's all based around our research on alternative investments and specifically hedge funds. Um, together with Andrew Clare, another professor here, we were working on the way that the incentive structure affects the way that hedge fund managers may behave in terms of taking risk. Um, the paper was published last year in the Journal of Alternative Investments and then we were awarded the prize early this year for the best academic article uh, that was published in 2009. So the title was Locking in the Profits or Putting it All on the Black. What did you mean by putting it all on the black? This came up from when we were discussing how managers might behave and um, the city and fund management is often likened to a casino. So what we wanted to see was whether people were actually putting it all on black when it went wrong and not worrying whether it came up red. And by them, you're talking about hedge fund managers? We were looking at their risk appetite and, and seeing if it showed that they were actually gambling um, or they were instead taking an investment process and taking risks that they should be taking. And what did you find? Were they gambling? It doesn't look like they were. I mean, clearly they are taking risks. Um, but specifically what we were trying to find out is if a manager has lost money recently and so they may be under pressure to try and earn that money back, whether they were taking more risk after they'd lost or less risk. Because if they don't take risks, they won't get their fat fee for the year. That was exactly the question. Really, what we were concentrating on is how people are incentivized. And it's obviously a currently a hot topic. We've had this issue with banks, we've got it with fund managers, we have it in all industries. Um, and the way that f hedge fund managers are paid is quite unusual. They get a percentage of the upside, but then they don't bear the downside. And theoretically, that would tell you they may take too much risk if they were on this, what we call an asymmetric reward contract. Um, and if you model this theoretically, you can come up with all sorts of different answers as to how they will behave. But those are the explicit terms of the contract. We explicitly will pay the manager an amount if they make money. However, there are implicit terms, such as people will expect the manager to invest their own money in the fund. Or it could be that if the manager performs badly, people will withdraw money from the fund and the fund will close down. So modelling those implicit terms is much more difficult. So we decided to look at it empirically. That is, they can see a fat fee accumulating and they don't want to give it back. It, could, it does look as if uh, managers become probably a little bit more cautious when they've already got profits that are out there. And if you're an investor, that's not necessarily you can't define it as a good thing or a bad thing. Really, we want them to take a consistent approach to their risk. Um, but it could be that they've had a great success because the market's been volatile and then the market becomes less volatile. It's a little bit difficult for us to tell. Ultimately, for people who are investing in hedge funds, this is all down to due diligence. Exactly. And probably the framework that we've presented is a way for, for people to do due diligence on funds. They can look at how historically their risk is compared to their peer group when they're up above or below their high water mark, whether they've been making or losing money. And yes, it's exactly the answer that we were looking for, is that if you are looking at a fund and you notice that they take more risk when they've been losing money, it's probably a more dangerous fund to be in. What questions were raised by your research? What do you want to look at now? Really, we'd, we'd like to see if those funds that do show the good characteristics if they're the ones that gather more assets. Because there is lots of research out there that shows that funds that have historically done well gather assets. I mean, people tend to chase returns. We would also like to see if, people, if that is adjusted for risk. So if a fund has lost money but has not ramped up its risk and then it recovers that money, do they do as well as a fund that's lost money, ramped up risk, and luckily manages to make the money back? So we'd like to see if, if funds are rewarded for good behaviour as opposed to bad behaviour. Dr. Nick Motson, thank you very much.